back. 741, Rawson reports this morning a new warning from police about fake Uber drivers targeting and assaulting passengers. One of the latest victims is speaking out in an exclusive interview. Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rawson has more on that. Jeff, good morning. Hey guys, good morning to you. Important warning here. Look, if you use Uber, chances are you've done it, right? Some car pulls up and you just get in. It looks like an Uber. The driver says he's from Uber and he's there to pick you up. But now police say dangerous predators are posing as Uber drivers. And once you get in, they drive off and attack you. New cases popping up across the country. This morning, it has happened again. And the victim is sharing her story with us to help protect you. It was past midnight in Los Angeles. Carla Westland says she was at this nightclub and wanted to leave, so she ordered an Uber. We were waiting for an Uber outside of a club where there's tons of cars, tons of people. So I'm out looking for a car. You know, you want to go home. It's the end of the night. You're tired. I just saw a car out on the street that looked like an Uber. The way it was out there just waiting. And then I got in the back seat. He asked me for the address. And then I fell asleep. Seemed legit. Yeah. But it wasn't really your Uber. No. No, it was not my Uber. <laughs> the driver, an alleged Uber imposter, parked outside the club waiting for a woman to get in. I literally woke up to him in the back seat with me. We're parked somewhere, and he's just banging my head against the seat. And it's just a very confusing thing. You're just, your instinct is just to say, stop, like, get off me. Like, you're fighting and you're, you know, and then you realize, wow, this is not changing anything. He's still overpowering me. Well, what's next? And he sexually assaulted you? Yes. For hours? For three hours, yeah. Police just releasing this sketch of the suspect, desperate to catch him before he strikes again. And turns out these fake drivers are striking coast to coast. Some of them even using fake Uber logos and stickers to trick you. Recent attacks in New York, Rhode Island, Connecticut, Ohio, and Louisiana. In Illinois, police say this man posed as an Uber driver, now charged with kidnapping and sexually assaulting two different women he picked up. He was able to um, get the victims to come into his car under the guise that he was the uh, assigned driver. In Georgia, police releasing this sketch of a man accused of doing the same thing. And in Texas, this suspect accused of posing as a Lyft driver and killing a passenger. So how do you avoid becoming a victim? Both Uber and Lyft have some great tips to help you out. First of all, whenever you order a car from either of those companies, right here on the app, it tells you some information about the driver and the car. It tells you the make and model of the car, gives you a picture of the driver, and it gives you the license plate. So you want to confirm all that before you get in. Safety experts say you should actually go an additional step. And as you're walking in real quick, just take a photo of the license plate. That way, if it is a bad guy, you have a record of what car you actually got into if something happens. Now, here's another great tip, and it's a mistake so many of us make, including me. I always, when my Ubers come, literally just jump right in, and I say, hey, here for Jeff? You here for Jeff? And they say, yeah. Well, guess what? If it is a bad guy, you just gave him the answer to the secret question. So let's rewind, and here's actually what you want to do. Don't get into the car. Walk up to the car, open the door up, lean in, and just say, hey, who are you here for? That way, they have to say your name, and if they give you your name back, you know you're in the right place. Uber and Lyft telling NBC News they are committed to getting fake drivers off the streets. Now Carla is issuing her own warning that what happened to her can easily happen to you. Why speak out about this? Because we need to find him. This guy could be out there. He could be doing this to somebody else. He needs to be caught. And also, there's so many women that have so much shame. They need to realize this is not their fault and be strong and speak out about it because otherwise I feel like we're suppressing ourselves and we're allowing this to continue. She is brave to speak out about her story. Here is another tip. Whenever you order an Uber or a Lyft, when you start your trip, there's actually a button right there on the screen on the app to share your ride with friends. They are able to track you in real time, your exact location, where you're going, what time you're supposed to get there. So if you don't arrive on time, they can know there's a problem, either try to call you or worst case. That's for a legit yeah. Uber yeah. ride. Yeah, that little tip of not saying your name, yeah. but asking for your name is so important. It really is. Jeff. Thank, Thank you, you, Jeff. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here.
to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.